Hello, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, uh, yeah. Skull Servant Light Swans. The game... This deck has a game. It can be very explosive, but it can also break very much. Anyway, let's go through everything card by card. We're playing the basically standard, in my opinion, Light Swan package with Triple Lumina, 
Triple Minerva, Double Wolf, Double Raiden, Triple Charge and Triple Solar Recharge. Nothing much to say. Uh, Minerva is here because if you use Solar Recharge and ditch a Minerva, you get to mill three cards instead of two. You still get to draw two, but you're milling three, which is an additional bonus in this type of strategy. As for our Skull Servants, we're playing three, well, Skull Servants. Two Princesses, Triple Baking, Triple Prince, Triple Lady in White, and Triple King. Bow before the King because his attack points are ginormous like my... <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, we're also playing a pretty small, but I think good enough, uh, package for zombies with Yuma Zombie and Shiranui Solitaire, and of course Mizuki. Solitaire is here because he can just grab Yuna Zombie. Everyone knows the play, right? The tribute Solitaire, you summon Yuna Zombie, you start pitch pitching cards. Yuna Zombie here is for two reasons. One, he can of course send one of our Skull Servant monsters to the graveyard from the hand. And from the deck. And if we are sending a Skull Servant monster from the deck to the hand, we are more than likely sending White Baking. Since when White Baking is sent to the graveyard, it doesn't specify from where, we can grab two Skull Servants, add them to the hand, and then this discard one card from a hand. So, uh, with Unizombie, if you pitch White Baking, you can search Princess and Prince, pitch Prince, and then Prince's effect will trigger, pitching a Skull Servant and a Lady in White, getting you four monsters into the graveyard, giving your King 4,000 attack off the bat. I think this is a very, very sweet deal. As for our... As for our back row, uh, actually, like, not back row. Because we don't play any back row. <laughs> We're very monster heavy. We're playing one Vermilion Dragon mech. It's very situational, but it can be done. And it's good when it is here. One Beals, one Omega, Void Ogre Dragon is here because we can, of course, make it. We have Dark Tuners. And we can just get everything on board and have no hand. Level 7s are here because of Illumina and Raiden, Arcanite Magician, Black Rose Dragon, Double Avery, and Michael. And of course, this is a very interesting pick uh, on my behalf Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. It is a generic Synchro 7, which is good, because we like our generic Synchro 7s. However, it also gets 100 attack points for every zombie on the field and in the graveyard. And if my math is correct, we have about 24 zombies in the deck. Making him a very, very chunky little boy. Not as chunky as the king, but Red Eyes Necro Zombie, Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon is a very close second. We're also playing Double Minerva the Exalted Light Sworn as our only rank 4. Because we don't really need anything else, I don't know what else uh, could I actually put in here. And as you saw in the skill drain uh, Dragoon replay, Minerva was what won us that game with her. And we're playing Curious because I don't know what else put in here. So I put in Curious. Since it can still mill cards, send the card directly from the deck to the graveyard and mill even more. If anything, do the same attribute with different types, but so that would be Lumina, Wolf and Raiden. You'd have to get those three on board. 
which is not that hard to do, but it might be a bit of an issue. Anyway, that would be it for today, and I thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in the next video. Jacobo signing out. Peace!